Alright guys, what's up? So this is going to be a little tutorial on the top five city applications that I like and the top five uh, tweaks, we'll say, that I like. So as you can see, you can already see some tweaks already on my springboard, but we're not going to talk about those yet. We're going to talk about the applications first. Alright, so not in real any, any real order here or anything, just kind of kind of put out there um, all right so here's the top five city applications I like not in any order SB settings video recorder install your list I Bluetooth and side delete now I can't show you I uh, video recorder because this is on my iPod but is a great application I like it better than a uh, psych order so go ahead and try that you can find it in Cydia um, all right so let's go ahead and look at SB settings so SB settings is a little application as you can see. Um, it displays, this is a theme on it of course. It displays like your Bluetooth, like you can change the brightness. So like go ahead and pop up there. So you can change screen brightness. And of course you can't see it on this screen but on your actual iPod, your screen would be very dark right now. So let's just go ahead and put that back to normal. All right, you can uh, turn on and off your Wi-Fi, which I won't do. Um, so all you have to do is just click it. So like say here, here's processes. All right, and we'll go free up memory. Once it's done, I have 66 megabytes now from 48. Um, you can also respring your device. You have a dock in here that you can use. And you can see there's nothing in mine. Um, refresh, which I don't really know what does, but yeah. <laughs> um, you can do power. So you can, this is power. You can reboot, power off, lock, safe mode. I just push cancel. All right, so that's SB settings. You can also do much more. You can add the, uh, what I'm going to talk about in the second part of this video the uh, numeric battery up at the top so you have the little percentage just like the iPhone 3GS um, you can theme it you can uh, hide icons and different stuff there's a lot of stuff it's a really good application if you reset your phone a lot if you change stuff on a lot you're gonna need it so get it alright so video recorder like I said I can go over um, go ahead and find it in Cydia if you have a iPhone it works great on 3G or 2G and you can compress it into MP4 I believe format which is great for like YouTube and stuff next one install your list so let's go here and as you can see install your list right there let's go ahead and start that up and basically what this is if you haven't heard of it which I'm probably pretty sure you have if you ever jailbroken a phone or an iPod all it is all it is is a way for you to get um, free app store applications most of them not all of them but most of them and it's per it's very easy to use so let's go ahead and let it load up here and the all these are compatible with 3.1.2 which is what I'm currently running on my on my iPod touch second generation I'll just let this load up here All right, so and this is the screen you get. Um, you can go search, which is what I usually use. I just go to the App Store, look for an application that I like, and I go search. And then once you go to search, you just type in the name of something you want to search for. So here's a game I really like, and you just push search. You can also do this from the internet. Just go to hackulo.us. Alright, so there's what it is. So the haunted 3D roller coaster right there. So we're going to just click on it. Should load up.
and it's loading and loading and loading. Um, if this doesn't work, like I said, you can go to hackylo.us on the internet and actually download them. All right, so we'll give that a rest. So that's another one that you can use. Um, let's see, the next one is iBluetooth. Which is this right here. It might shut down because I don't have my Bluetooth on. Yeah, I have to go and turn on my Bluetooth first. Just go ahead and turn that on. Turning on, turning on. Why is it taking so long to turn on my Bluetooth? Oh, that's weird. Okay, there, it turned on. Alright, so now, once you have that on, exit. Go back to iBluetooth. There's also many other applications that you can use um, that with a non-jailbroken device. Might do a top five app store application. Yeah, it's not working right now. I don't know why. Maybe I messed up or something. But iBluetooth works really great. Um, one of the things that... One of the reasons why it works good, you can Bluetooth ringtones, video, music, photos, and it works really good. That's the way I like it. All right, guys, um, one more last thing. Side delete. So you know how you can delete in-store applications, app store applications? Well, you can do the same thing with city applications. Same thing. All you do is install Site Delete. Go to Settings. Once you install it from City, go to Settings. Site Delete. And there you see. And it basically allows you different things. All right. That's the top five apps. All right, now um, I'll go over the top five uh, city of mods that I like anyway. The first one I love is battery percentage, and you can get that with SB settings. Just go in here, go to more. Extras and options, and then as you can see, numeric battery right there. And this might respring. Nope, didn't respring. All right, that's for that one. The next one is black interface, which is through Winterboard. And it works really well. I love it. And you just go in here and you just click black interface. And basically it makes all your like headers black and just different stuff on the iPhone black. And your little um, on off thing right here. Black. Love that mod. Next one is called Desktop SMS Background Changer. You can find this in Cydia. Basically, all you're going to do is go to General, Wallpaper, and as you can see, your wallpaper here. S okay, so all we're going to do is say we want this one. Click that. Now, these two eyes right here on the. Uh, so, if you just want to set it, that's the regular lock screen. The left one, I believe, is for SMS, and the right one is for your background. So, yep, for your background. So you just tap that, and it'll set it. Once you exit, see, I have a theme on this. If I didn't have a theme, it would show up. And then you can do the same thing for, for your SMS, which works really well. All right, the next one is five icon dock as you can see I'm using it um, I love this you can even do a six icon dock I've seen I don't know how well it works but five works for me allows you to have five icons instead of four really simple it's been around for a long time works great and the last one is pogo plank and I love this thing as you can see what I have over here I have no uh, springboard basically all it is is these little folders that's it and you just put everything in little folders and you can use them and I mean I just love this thing also and then you just tap to get rid of it this thing works great it's only like a dollar ninety nine on Cydia so use it 
you know, buy it if you want. Um, that's basically it that I have for all the mods and everything. There are a couple other things like uh, Reflective Dock that I like, but, you know, it's been around for so long that, yeah. All right, guys, um, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, please PM me. Thanks, guys.